Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another full day of eating on keto. If you want to see what I ate today and a little bit of chit chat, then just keep on watching. So here is kind of a good picture of my sandwich and let me get the rest of my breakfast and lunch together and I will show you what I'm packing up. Good morning guys. Happy Monday. So I am packing up my breakfast, lunch, and snacks to head out to work. So also for my drink, I am drinking this Mio Energy. I actually found this in the back of my cupboard. I forgot that I even had it. So I'm going to try to finish this whole 32 ounces before I leave for work. So I can get a jump start on my water. And then for breakfast, you guys saw it. Well, I don't know if you saw it or not, but in my meal prep video that I posted this morning, I made an egg loaf. And so I just made it into French toast. So I did show you how I did that. Um, I'm not real hungry right now, so I'm not going to eat right now. But I am going to pair it with this Lakanto maple flavored syrup. I've only used this for cooking so far. I have never had it as a syrup, so we'll see how I like it. So I have some of that in here. I'm going to heat it up because I do find that sometimes syrup is a little bit better heated up. And then I just have some raspberries there. So this will be my breakfast when I'm ready to have it. As you guys saw, I put together a little um, lettuce wrapped kind of club sandwich. So I have some turkey in there. I have some pepper jack cheese, some avocado, and then some turkey bacon. And then I just wrapped it up in some romaine lettuce. So I have my two halves right there. Oh, and then I put some spicy brown mustard on there as well. So that'll be my sandwich today. And then um, I found these pickle ice things at Walmart and my friend Erin over at Erin Does Keto. Um, I saw her haul these in a video and she really liked them. I'm bringing one for a friend at work, um, but then the other one I may have for a snack. And then also in case I get hungry, and if I don't eat this, I'll just throw it in my refrigerator. I have a refrigerator in my cubicle at work. Um, so I have some uncured salami and some uncured pepperoni. So if I do need a little snack, I have all of these things. I think I definitely will have the pickle ice though because I have not tried it yet. Um, so anyway, here is everything that I'm starting my day with. I don't have time to talk to you this morning, so I will talk to you at lunchtime. Okay, I have a much needed coffee here. This does have two tablespoons of regular half and half and then also some sugar-free vanilla um, syrup. Hey guys, so it's been like one of those days. I did not get a chance to jump on here at lunchtime as I had to run and do a bunch of errands, pick up prescriptions, all that fun stuff. And I actually was almost late getting back to work. It is so bright out here. Um, anywho, it's been a really good day. I just wanted to tell you guys this weekend, I did make a conscious decision to kind of have a splurge meal. It was a really good weekend and me and my husband found ourselves, you know, without any kids and you know, they were off doing their own thing. One was at work, one was with friends. So we decided to go out to dinner, just the two of us. And I could have stayed on plan, but you know what? I just decided not to. But now that I've been, you know, I, I think it's like, I'm still a little bit intimidated. Is not really intimidated? Is that the right word? I, I feel like I have not educated myself enough on eating out on keto and so there's a lot of things I want to look at. Now we pretty much go out to eat the same place every time because it's just our favorite place as a family and it's Mexican and now after I looked at the menu while I was there and kind of um, talked to some people to let me know what they put in far as in the ingredients, I almost always get fajitas, either steak or chicken. And I'm th I know now that I can still get that because they don't use any sugar in any of their marinade. And um, they use, um, they do use canola oil, which I know can be inflammatory. But besides that, um, I can have that, but just opt for no rice and beans and no tortilla. Maybe just get some extra like, you know, like a salad. And then, you know, I can still have the guacamole and sour cream. So I think I'm gonna do that from now on, but this time I didn't. And but like I said, I made that decision. 
going into it and I am up on the scale. I'm up like 1.2 today compared to last Friday, which last Friday, um, I maintained or I lost 0.2. I think I lost 0.2. I was thinking I maintained, but I look or looked earlier and I lost 0.2, but I'm up 1.2 from that. And it's so amazing like how I can be up that much by just one day and one meal. Actually, it was only one meal. So it could not, maybe not even related to Saturday. I have no idea because like I said, it was only one meal. I was on plan before that and I didn't have anything after that. So um, one thing though that I have not been doing good for like this entire week is water. So today, actually I started kind of yesterday and Saturday just really focusing on the water and trying to get water in and picking that first. And today I drank so much water and I felt so good drinking all that water. I didn't force myself to drink it. I just drank when I was thirsty, but I ended up drinking 32 ounces before I left work, which was, I mean, before I left for work, which is what I wanted to do. And then I drank four 20 ounces. I didn't plan on drinking that much. I was just really thirsty today. So I did drink a lot of water today. Now I'm drinking a Powerade Zero. Um, I haven't had, and I had one cup of coffee as you guys saw. I'll probably finish my day with a cup of coffee because I usually do. Um, dinner tonight is going to be a recipe I saw on Keto Ginja. Is that how you say her name? I'm not sure, I'm new to her channel. But it was a meatball, like magic meatballs or something like that recipe. I will link her video down below. I will be showing that in my West for Dinner video, but I'm not gonna, it's her recipe, so I'm not gonna like show all the steps. I'll let you guys see that um, by watching her video. But it looks fantastic, so that'll be dinner. So I'll pop a picture of that here. And I think it's gonna be filling enough where I don't really need to have anything with it besides maybe just a salad or something. So that's the plan. And I probably won't have anything else. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry. It was just a little bit of a quiet day. So this is going to be a really short vlog, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. I know it's only Monday today. It was so hectic today. So if you, hopefully you're having a better Monday than me. Um, it's just been busy. That's all. It hasn't been a bad day. It's just a busy day, but I'm going to head home and get dinner started and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Your eyes, you make me feel like I'm a